Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon, it's almost 3 o'clock and it's the 18th? Yeah, the 18th of May. I've just got done doing two videos, one for this channel, just a really short one on a specific subject that I uh, just wanted to give an explanation on as a cyclist myself, so it's, to, it's related to cycling. You might see that one before this one or I might put it up after this one, I don't know yet. It's all like a little bonus videos I don't put much up on this channel maybe one video a week I want to try and increase that but it's just a case of finding something to do but anyway a lot has been going on over the last week or two um, had a friend come over from Portugal um, he's now back home but he wants to move here eventually sooner rather than later but it's just a case of trying to sort things out it's not as easy as you might think and that does actually get me down a bit because you know you just thought you just fill out all the necessary paperwork blah 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 save up a bit of money bob's your uncle not quite as easy as that unfortunately um why is chick-fil-a in the news again oh i see Right, I'm going to turn these spots off as well. I think I might take one of those switches off and turn it around the other way so it matches the other one. <laughs> Put one on upside down. Um, yeah, nearly two weeks ago, I think now, I lost a cousin. He passed away... Um, well, it was quite sudden. He had a cardiac arrest at home. Then he had another one in the back of the ambulance on the way to um, the hospital. He was put in intensive care on life support in an induced coma. But brain scans revealed he'd had a massive bleed on the brain, which had caused massive swelling. Um, and when they took him out of the coma there was no brain activity whatsoever so my aunt his mum actually put a do not resuscitate order on him and literally a couple of days after that he passed away I don't know if he passed away because she decided to turn the machine off or if he had a cardiac arrest and they just didn't resuscitate him because of the order don't know that's not important anyway um, so that's a funeral I got to go to in a week's time. It's actually next Friday. There's going to be a number of us going. I'm going, Mum's going, Stepdad is going. I believe my youngest brother is going. I don't know about our other brother. I haven't actually asked him. And I'm hoping my sister is going to go as well. But she's been ill lately too. Um, so I guess that will depend on how she feels because that weekend it's also my mum's birthday so that's going to be quite a mix of emotions that weekend that really is um, yeah anyway on to some better news turn that off as well fold the tripod up out the way because I do my Lego review videos sitting here because my workbench over there, which is actually behind my big head, is uh, usually just full of junk and there isn't no room. Actually, it's got a big model on it at the moment. I could have moved that and did it up there, but never mind. Yeah, there's not a lot of room in this corner. There would have been more room if I hadn't moved the tables, but I needed to move the tables so I could get down there. That reminds me, I need to repair these floodlights. The power supply failed. One amp power supply as well should have been fine with those floodlights so but i did keep tripping over it and kicking the actual power supply itself because it plugged in down there maybe i'd knocked something loose and that's what did it maybe it wasn't overloaded it was just me kicking it so the new one when i get the replacement i'm going to find one i've got loads of 12 volt adapters it's got to be at least one amp i'm going to actually plug it in over here so i'm going to run 
a cable. In fact, I might go and buy. No, I don't need speaker cable. We've got some down at Mum's. That's all I need, just some cable that thick, and I'll go and run a length down to here and connect it to a 12 volt power supply. So I'm just going to plug in there. <clears throat> That's the plan. That way, I don't need a trailing socket on the floor because I keep tripping over the poxy thing, so I can pull that out. Um, I might actually just pull it out from there and reroute it so it comes and lays on the floor down here somewhere. So I've got some extra sockets to access because I've only got these four up here. It's actually tempting to change that to a six way. Um, I might see if I can actually find one to be honest or we'll go buy one. I can't do anything until next Thursday. Well, I can't do anything until next Wednesday, actually. Right. Um, what else? I'm going to take this camera down to Mum's tomorrow. And hopefully, if I get some space, I'm going to um, show you guys some new vintage stuff that I've got in the shed down at Mum's and the caravan. And the pond update, because it has got fish in it. We actually went and picked up three big goldfish for free the other week from Norwich. Um, yeah, and we've built like a, um, a pond filter house over the filter barrels now to tidy all that up. The blue barrels just looked absolutely ugly. <laughs> so me and my stepdad, that was Thursday, I believe. We were out there, we um, whipped up something, he's got some more um, stonework to do around the pub, pond rather, not the pub. Why did I say pub? <laughs> I don't even drink, so I have no idea, I wasn't even thinking of pub, I have no idea where that came from. Anywho, um, yeah, let's try to think what else. Oh, he went and picked up a big oil drum yesterday so we could use that as an incinerator because the ones you buy, the little sort of 20, 30 pound ones, are just useless, basically. Mind you, we did buy one last summer, but being sat outside with a load of ash in the bottom of it kind of just basically rotted the bottom out. It didn't last long at all. And one of the handles fell off and so did one of the legs, so that had to be dumped. Um, so we had some scrap wood to burn, this is only a month or so ago, ago, maybe two months ago. So he went out and bought another one for the same price. And it lasted one burning session, that is it, before the bottom fell out of it. The bottom just burnt out of the bottom of it. I don't know what metal they're using, but it is absolutely shit. They're not worth that money. It's just like they got all the crap metal they could find and melted it into liquid and just made a bin with it so <laughs> so my stepdad went and bought this old oil barrel um, we had to cut the top off my brother did that and cut some slots in it for air holes well, it actually worked pretty well I got half done last night and we did have quite a lot off cuts of um, cladding no use to anyone you know they're sort of like that long maybe a little bit longer uh, other various offcuts, the old bits of fencing that were out front. Um, yeah, the old wooden gate, which was actually made from feather edging and old bits of bed. I wonder why that gate weighed a ton. Because my stepdad put a new one in, the side gate that goes from the front to the back garden. The old one was literally bits of bed to make the gate frame, with slats and the like the bed ends um, in between <laughs> and then just feather edged all over I've just come to the window because I have seen a remarkably pretty little bird let me zoom in somewhere there where are you there it is look at that isn't that beautiful I have no idea what breed of bird that is, but that is beautiful. Can I take a photo of that? C. 
think that just took a photo of it for me. That's beautiful. Beautiful colours. Speaking of birds, I did have to take one outside earlier because a blackbird got into the stairwell. I had to have come in through the back door because that's always open. Um, again, I was a bit of an idiot. I didn't open the window. I actually caught it in my coat and then afterwards I'm like, why didn't I just open the fucking window? <laughs> Duh. Anyway, yeah. Lost a few tail feathers in its panic, but it flew away fine with the tail feathers that were left, which is good. That did worry me that it weren't going to be able to fly. But she did. It's a female blackbird. I always seem to be the dippiest ones out of the two. I've had one fly straight into this window and it was out cold on the ground. I thought it was actually dead when I went down there, but she weren't. She was just sort of concussed. And she sat with me for a little while till she got her um, bearings back and whatnot, and I put her outside. <clears throat> anyway, now the birds are done distracting me. I was talking about mums, weren't I? Yeah, one of the things I want to show you is a vintage TV from around 1957. And from the same person that I got that from, I got a vintage Philips bike. Very rough, very rusty. Um, in fact, the frame is 99.9% .9 rust. Not all the way through. I can't see any rust holes all the way through. Um, but it's going to need a lot of work to bring it back. A lot of preparation work before I respray it. Because uh, the guy I got it from, he does a lot of house clearance and garage clearance, etc. You name it, he'll clear it. Um, he's just done a big job locally. And they were there. And I saw him put up the TV up on his business page on Facebook. I'd already messaged him because he put some photos up of the um, garage before he'd cleared it. And I saw the bike and I said, I'd be interested in the bike, you know, before, um, or well, whenever you're ready to put it up for sale and whatnot, drop it off, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a week or two later, he messaged me and put this TV up. And I saw the TV and I put in the comments, I'm tempted, because I was, but I was, sort of, I was thinking about it. And about three days after that, two or three days after that, we were talking in Messenger. I've got him as a friend on Facebook as well. Um, Organising to drop the bike off. Because he's pretty nice um, with me. But then again, I've never let him down. He will uh, drop things off. And I can pay like next week when I get paid. So that's what we agreed on with the bike. And then I just asked, you know, is the TV still available? And he said, yes, so I... I know he usually takes offers, so I just offered him 20 quid and he took the 20 quid. I actually have no idea what would have been a good price. I don't know if that was too much for it or too little. I have absolutely no idea on such things, but it needs a lot of work if I'm going to get it working. Which is what I would love to do. I would love to get that old TV working. Um, but that will depend highly. The capacitor shouldn't be a problem. There's a lot of how-to videos and whatnot on YouTube. Um, I actually follow a couple of people that specialise in these old tube TVs. Um, so I can watch a few of their older videos. Um, but the biggest issue will be if the picture tube is gone, or one of the power transformers is gone, then the, the set is pretty much toast. It will just clean, be cleaned up and made to look new basically as a display piece um, I suppose if I ever saw a TV company advertising wanting to borrow something like that for their program I could loan it I don't think anything like that would ever happen around here though and I certainly wouldn't ship it to them because of the weight it's freaking heavy that thing <clears throat> Um, but I've left it down at Mum's for a couple of reasons. Well, I say a couple. The main reason is because the cabinet is going to have to be refinished. 
and that's going to be stepdad's job because he's um he likes that sort of thing um unfortunately it won't be just a case of like polishing it up it needs refinishing because um something's been spilt on it on one side like small paint or something just some white sort of spots and um what was the other thing there's marks in it and whatnot so yeah it needs a good um Basically a good sand down and refinishing. It's veneer, so if it's got to be redone in veneer, then I'll just have to get some. I'll have to spend the money and get some. Not a problem. But I would like to get it working first. I won't... Well, actually, I suppose I could put it into use, because it has a standard... Um, RF input on it and I think some of these little set top boxes do have an RF output the sky boxes I've got do so I could actually connect the sky box up to it and watch it in black and white on an antique TV but yep this one has got an RF output as well so I could actually connect that so in fact a lot of these old TVs you could still use today um, I don't think the really, 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 really new stuff, satellite boxes and freeview boxes like that, actually have the um, RF out. But at least older ones, like this one down here and the one I've got in use, they do. So if you can get hold of things like that, you could still watch your black and white TV. Or even your old 1980s colour TVs, you know, I can still use this one. I could connect something up to that. Get this satellite box up with this. If I wanted, then I could have a choice, you know, I could go old school completely or the flat screen. <laughs> I might do that just for the sheer hell of it. I do believe I've got a satellite splitter. I've got a box of like antenna pieces in here. Blinking spotlights and lights that I've got everywhere. I was thinking of changing the spotlights in the lounge. I'm actually wondering if that would be a better idea than the spotlights, because this will spread the light a bit more than the spotlights. I like the spotlights, but they're just not uh, spreading the light enough. I've got RF splitters. Don't know if I could use an RF splitter though. Nope, that's a radio splitter. Uh, aha! Knew I had one. There we go. In. Out. It's even got screws on it so I can screw it to a wall. I might actually, um, for something to do later this afternoon, I may actually do that. And I might do a little update video if it works. I don't have don't think a working remote for that one I've actually got another spare remote but I don't think it goes with that box but anyway yeah it'd be just a case of crawling under there connecting one onto that and then finding some coaxial cable which is going to be long enough to go from here to there and to that box that might actually be a problem. I don't have the coax cable. <laughs> Did have some at Mum's till I took it down the dump. <laughs> that was a stupid thing to do, but I didn't think of doing this, did I? So maybe I actually won't be doing this today. I'm going to need to get a little bit of a coax, I think. But yeah, I've got that. I've got the um, other connectors I need as well. Don't think I'll screw that to anything. There isn't really anything behind there I could screw it to. Not unless I stuck it on the um, skirting board. Plus it might keep the cabling tidy behind there as well. I might actually have enough 
um, with the cable there because it's going to be far too long um, plugging it straight into that splitter so I might be able to do one it's so long because it used to go over to where the um, bedside cabinet is and even then it was too long so if I actually fit it somewhere as close you might be able to see the roll of it behind there actually yeah focus you just see that white coiled up cable if I put it as close to that as possible so I could cut it as short as possible um, then I may actually have plenty because I'll only need a short bit to go to that the longest bit I'm going to need is to go from that to that wherever I decide to put that satellite box which will probably have to go on top of the TV not unless I can move these demo discs somewhere and just sit it on there but I can actually escart the cable out from that into that unless I want to go old school and do it via an RF lead because I've got RF leads Don't. Th I'm pretty certain I'm not going to have a length of um, coax long enough not here because I had a big clear out of cables um, I was just thinking, I'm sure my brother wanted something out of there, but I've actually just remembered. I must put this thing back in the bedroom. I've just remembered, I need to put a bin bag in the bin as well. I'm going to keep that box. Draw cables. If I'm going to have any coax, it's going to be in there. Let me just stick it on top of the fridge for the moment. Because this is actually quite heavy this tub, so I need two hands. Oi! Well, I've got this one pre made. I could use this one for the short distance. And if the white bit that I cut off is long enough, I could use that for the other bit. Well, maybe this black one's going to be long enough, I don't know. I can't rem remember what I made this fly lead for now. Well, it's definitely not going to be long enough to go to the CRT TV. But it's certainly long enough for the other length. I'm pretty certain I haven't got nothing else in here. Got RF cables. Don't know whether to use that or a SCART lead, but either way I better find a SCART lead because I'm going to need that as well. There we go. Got one with a cop. Gold ends. We'll use that. Make sure the ends are okay. Oh, didn't realise I had these BNC cables. Some of my CCTV cameras take a BNC connector, so. Uh, never seen, I presume that's HDMI, but I've never seen one in that shape before. I really don't know why I keep all these cables because it's not often I use anything from this drawer but having said that on the odd occasion I have needed cables. Um, let's see if I've got a white one. What shall I use? White, black or the grey one that I had a minute ago which is here. I think I'm going to go black because that's sort of the era. But like I said I may actually just opt for that. There's that fly lead. I'll probably end up using that. So glad I actually kept this now. The cable's in good condition. It's not split or damaged. Yeah. Right. I can't think of uh, anything else I want to talk about. There's not a lot going on with um, road lamps at the minute. I had a few freebie bits donated to me one of these that one I bought myself brand new so I had a fully working one and a um, Facebook friend of mine who also collects sent me one that was faulty so I took the blue lenses out of that and put in a genuine maxi light that's like a maxi light copy it's not a complete carbon copy there is differences I don't know if it's enough differences to get over like copyright and whatnot, but there is differences. Uh, but he also sent me some spare bits. He sent me these green lenses ages ago, but recently I got this. 
which I sprayed yellow, it's really faded and you know, a bit worn, so I thought get some yellow spray paint, clean it up, spray it up, just make a random lamp with a bunch of spares I had. <laughs> Speaking of, oh he also sent me this, but I can't remember why he sent me this bracket. It's completely gone. I think it was for a lamp specifically, but I can't remember what lamp. Uh, he also sent me two pairs of these. Amber lenses. And inside that one, actually, if I take that part, he sent me this. Which is the board from a highlight. So it's got that one LED, so it's one way. So I could actually make an amber highlight if I had just a plain blank one of these, not a transparent one, and a spare body. <laughs> uh, in fact, I could probably convert one of the lamps I've got here into a highlight. But I don't need to because I do have an amber highlight anyway. Which is right there with a the WTC TM on it. Right. That's about it in the way of lamps. I haven't really got anything new or different, not that I haven't already shown. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye bye for now.